everyone. Welcome to another webinar of Jaltest Diagnostics. My name is Alex and I'm going to walk you through the software and through this specific model. As you know, may know, MHC stands for Material Handling Equipment and in this module we will be able to perform diagnostic on forklifts, scissor leaves, boom leaves and telehandlers. Once to, we get into the module, the first thing we can see is that we cover 56 manufacturers and we have all the proprietary information on these brands. So we cover Heister, Genie, Toyota, Crown, GL, Caterpillar and many more. And we don't cover just the engine but also the Herbatics computer uh, we will see just in a few seconds. For this, uh, for this demo we have chosen a uh, Heister X6. So in order to connect, we just have to pick our model, click on it, and we will have the different modules present on it. As we can see, we will have a Kubota engine and also a body computer. If we connect to the Kubota, first thing is going to tell us, is going to ask us actually is if we have after treatment or not. As we have a particular filter, let's click on yes. And then now we can see everything is on the software. Something I would like to highlight is that this menu is going to be, or is going to follow the same layout and the same logic, regardless which module you are at. So once you learn how to use it and you understand the logic behind the tool, you will be able to perform diagnostics on everything. First thing we're going to do is click on read fold codes. And then here we can see all the information. All this information is going to be proprietary information. So this is how Kubota is going to show it on their tool. And also we will have the different fold codes. In order to um, dip a bit more, the first thing we have in here is decimal. This is going to be what we call frame frame data that is going to be all the information stored on the control unit. We can see here when it happens, how often it happens, if we have a warming lamp and all of the extra information. The next thing we'll have is fall cost travel shooting. If we click on it, we are going to have an S we are going to have a guide, a step-by-step -step guide on how to solve this problem. So as you can see, for this occasion, we have up to nine steps. And the good thing is that everything is going to be hyperlinked. So if you have to perform some kind of action or you actually need to have some special consideration, they are going to show, we are going to show you directly what you have to do. So you just click on it and you will be able to do it. If we go all the way back, we can see that we have all kind of advanced functionalities and bidirectional tests. So if we go to monitoring, we will be able to see all the live data and all the measurements on the engine. If we go back, we can see that we have actual components, we have system checks, parameters, and also maintenance, where we will be able to do all kind of region, force regions, different um, resets, and a lot more things. We will also have system technical data, Where we will be, ha we, where we will have all kind of information about the components on this engine. So as we can see, we have different pressures, we have different pinouts. Everything is going to be in here. If we go back and we disconnect from this module, we can jump now in the body computer. So we click over the body computer. We click on connection. And then here we will have a picture with the location of the connection, the connector, the pinout, and of course the cable we need. In order to connect, 
just click on connect and this is what we have we will have green fall goats in this occasion we have something we didn't see before it's going to be our hill and components of the fold and here we will have the component related with the fault code so presence detection sensor present detection sensor we click in here we are going to have the pin out and we click if we click in here we are going to have the wiring diagrams so once we have the wiring diagrams as you can see the component is going to be highlighted also we will have the pin out with the connection with the, with the ECM and if we click in the middle we will have pictures of the ECM and also the location and the pin out so if we go back we can see that this for, mod for this module we will have the parameter adjustment what is going to be in the parameter adjustment? Well, we will have the hydraulics, the transmission, and the machine. If we modify the hydraulics or if we display the parameters, we will see that we have all kinds of parameters, like mass, uh, maximum speeds for the different uh, spool bars, the different movements uh, of the forks. Everything is going to be in here. If we go to transmission, we will have all the SP, the maximum speed. We will have the acceleration, the braking pedal, everything's going to be here. And if we go, for example, to the machine, we will have the different modules, the different uh, speeds, the different modes, the power, if it's moving or not, everything. So this will be it for today. I hope you like it. Please contact us if you have any doubt, any you know question about coverage, anything. We will be pleased to help you and assist you with all your needs. Would you also have more extra information at kojaliusa.com and you can contact us anytime. So thank you very much for your time. See you.